Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. How are you today? Don't know if I've done a reading for you before, so I'd like to explain real quick kind of how it works. I see, hear, feel, sense, No, they talk to me, but they also show me pictures, and I call it spiritual charades, and I try to describe the picture the best I can. There's always a reason for whatever they show or say. So if it doesn't make any sense now, keep it in mind. You'll either remember it later, see it later. Somebody else will validate it for you later and go, oh, I know what she's talking about. Um, this is not an exact science. We communicate the best way we can. So sometimes you got to stretch it outside the box a little bit. They, uh, it's, it's their ball game. Uh, I'll leave it up to Grandma to... Uh, do anything within, say or do anything within reason. They make me itch. I always look like I got heebie-jeebies when I do readings. So we're going to talk to Grandma. Okay, you ask if you should stay. And, and also, I can't make them answer questions. I always ask people to give me some questions for them, something you'd like to know from them. It's totally up to her. She's saying yes about staying. But you need to put your big girl panties on. Draw on some of your strength. She's showing me like, like your bucket's almost empty. Like, you just don't have a lot to pull on or to, you're just drained. You're, you're just, your bucket's drained. It's like, it's like you're in a hole and you're trying to scramble out of it. Oh, believe me, I've been there. Okay. And you, I don't know if you know anything about visualizing or energy or anything like that, but my Bob has shown me what he used to show me when I would get dig myself into a hole. I would actually have a shovel and I would be digging myself a hole. Is you need to see yourself. I know this may sound strange. You need to see yourself putting the dirt back in the hole so you get higher and higher and higher. Put that dirt back in that hole so instead of digging it deeper. I know it sounds crazy and I had to do it like it seemed like a zillion times. The grandma's saying, she's saying, put that dirt back in that hole. Fill that bucket up. She says you need a break. And now I'm starting to get a headache across here. So I don't know if you're having tension headaches from all the stress. I know how that is. She says, you just need a break. But I don't know that she actually means a breakup. Just a break. You're believing shit that's being put into your head that is not true negative shit about yourself. She says you have to start loving yourself first. And then it doesn't matter what anybody else says or does if you love yourself first. And again, now she's holding up a big pair of underwear. I have to put my hands in a little closer, but she's way out here. Put your big girl panties on. It's time to strap on and strap up. Whatever that means. <laughs> I'm not sure. Now she's literally yelling and pounding the table. Put 
yourself first. Stop letting them beat on you. Don't know that she means physically. Just go do your own thing. She says, if you want to go for a walk, you want out of the house, get up and go do it. Do your own thing. Start doing for you. You, you alone. Totally, you alone. She kind of went. So you could, you could feel that hand, that air swish by your face. And know that that will be kind of a little sign from her. That's not going to count if you go outside and there's a breeze and your whole body gets it. This little puff of air that just happened. Validate or acknowledge or tell her you love her. Ask her to bring you more. So you can feel that little quick breeze. Know that that's her letting you know she's there. I ask them all to do something unique, different for each person that I read for. Will you be happier if you get out? She says yes and no. She said yes and no. You will in some ways and then you won't in some ways. Put you first. She's showing, I don't think she means to liter literally do this. Maybe she does. She can't talk. It's too early. <laughs> She's showing like rose petals floating in a tub of water. And something pretty burning candle or something, some sweet smell. And some soft music. Okay. And again, probably, I don't know that you know anything about energy or things like that. Go soak in the tub, go burn a candle, or go put, a, what I use is Epsom salt with lavender in it. It's already in it. Soak in that for a while and then sit there after you pull the plug and watch the water drain out and imagine all that dark, heavy, negative crap just kind of washing off of you going into the water and going down the drain. It works. You might have to do it a zillion times like I have. Matter of fact, I need to do that here pretty soon. I haven't done it for a while. Actually, physically watch it wash down the drain. And I like to, uh, I like to go out by the river when I walk and uh, put a little boat out in the river, not physically. And all my crap I need to get rid of, I call them my little minions. My little minions go running down the hill. It's all my heavy negative stuff. They jump in the boat. And I watch them sail away. Yeah, I need to do that. So, okay. All right. Probably one of the best things for anxiety because I have very high anxiety. You don't have to meditate. You don't have to sit there and go, oh. But she's reminding me of the breathing. Breathe in through the nose real slow. It's called meditation breath. Some people hold it for a few seconds and out through the mouth. And every time you start getting like this and breathe in deep, your body needs oxygen. We don't give it enough oxygen with our shallow breathing. Breathe that in deep through the nose and out through the mouth slowly. And do it at least three times. Every time you start getting like, I know, I'm not making fun of you. I do it all the time. 
and I forget to breathe. And then somebody will come along and say something about breathing. And I go, ah, there's my reminder. You'll hear somebody say that word all the freaking time now. And they might be in the next aisle at Walmart and you'll hear something about breathe. She says she's right beside you to help her call on her. I promise you she can a thousand percent. She can hear you. She can see you. She's a very strong lady. Very strong. And she wants to help lift you up and help you to be strong. You've been depleted. You've let them knock you down, she says. Now you're ready to be picked up. But they cannot override your free will choice. You can ask her for all the help in the world. And then I do it all the time. My guys go, hey, Rhonda, we brought you this great stuff. Why do you say no? Because I can. Because it's my free will choice. And there's nothing they can do 98% of the time to override your free will choice. So if you truly want her help, Call on her and say, I want help with blah, blah, blah. Don't give details. Just ask her for help with blah, blah, blah. And then watch and see what happens. Watch and see somebody will call or somebody will walk by you and tell you how beautiful your hair is or just something to help boost you back up. She's saying she was almost too strong, which pushed people away. Right now, just at this moment, you're just, you're just down here and just need to pick back up a little bit. And it's not even about the other person or the other people. It's all about you. It's all about you. And you have to keep telling yourself up here. That what they say is not true, that you are a good person, that you are beautiful. Okay, she's showing me. Go look in the mirror, look in your own eyes, and tell that person, I love you. And do it every single time you walk by a mirror. And us ladies, we always check the mirror when we walk by. We always at least give it a side glance, go, okay, is my shirt straight? Right? Every single time you do that, even if you have to put sticky notes up on there, look yourself in the eyes and say, I love you. You're perfect the way you are. Mistakes are part of life. You're perfect the way you are. You're perfect. Grandma says, you're perfect the way God made you. Now let's work on pulling up your bootstraps. And she's not giving a lot of validation about who she, usually I ask them for at least a couple things to validate for sure it's her, but she's not doing it. I can't make her. All right. It, she says, every time you have a negative thought about yourself, get out a piece of paper and write at least three to five things positive about yourself. I don't care if it's the same things every time. And I just went and wrote my intention list this morning. It's a, it's a great thing to write down at least five things every morning. Um, what you're grateful for. What are, you, are you grateful because you can see? Because you can hear? Because you have a device to watch the sun? Um, because you have a roof over your head? Um, you know, everybody thinks you have to be grateful for all this other shit. Um, are you grateful for the grass, for the trees that give you oxygen? Are you grateful you, the sky is pretty? Just find a few things to be grateful for every single morning. And she's saying before you go to sleep at night, think it in your head. Think of five things you're grateful for. That you have a cover over you. That you have a bed to sleep on. It doesn't have to be like these big fireworks miracles. When you start, say it again, when you start being grateful for every little thing, you'll find out how great life truly is. 
she's tickled. They make me itch, but she she's literally tickling the top of my head. So now when you get that, like feels like a finger going down through your hair and it tickles, that's grandma. They make my head itch anyway, but that was different. So no. Again, she says yes and no. It's it's not about the staying or leaving. It's about working on yourself. Not because you're broken, but just that you've been depleted. And I I always tell people, follow my own advice, I should. I always tell people, if you totally deplete yourself, then you can't help others. And usually us women are running around trying to fix and help everybody else. If you totally deplete yourself, you don't have anything to give everybody else. So you've got to, if you've let somebody drain you, YouTube. Oh, okay. Go on, go on YouTube and go find, um, there's hundreds and hundreds of things about protection bubbles. Put that protection bubble around you. That way, whatever negative things they might be saying or doing aren't going to affect you because you're in your own little energy bubble. It honestly works. I've used it bunches and bunches of times. And you should put one on every day. This is your energy. You keep it. Don't let them pull it out of you. Don't let them drain your energy. You need to pull it back in, put it in your little bubble. She says you have a big heart and that's your problem, but you don't have a big enough heart for yourself. She says you beat yourself up a lot. It's not even about them, whoever them is. That you beat yourself up a lot. Your self-taught belief. She says, I love you and I want you to know that. I want you to feel that. You are a beautiful person. And she's holding her hand out to you. She's ready to help you. Call on her. She's a very strong lady. She will be a great guide for you. Okay, with that... She wants you to start working on those things because that's quite a bit right there in one one bundle. She said it's all up to you. Nobody can make you. You have to decide you want it. It's time to work on you. Not because you're broken, not because not because you're messed up. Just because you're depleted. And that's not totally your fault. But, and I will add, what would you say to your best friend? Talk to yourself like that. Be your own best friend. What would you say to your best friend? Would you call them a bunch of names like we call ourselves? I know. I do it. I'm totally not criticizing. I do it. I just told myself this morning how dumb I am. And, uh... Would you tell your best friend that they're dumb and stupid and ugly? Be your own best friend. And grandma's right there to help, but you have to give her permission. And be ready. And be ready to cry some tears a little bit. Sometimes building that back up is hard. I've been there, done that, struggled for months. Putting the dirt back in that hole. Oh, <laughs> my guide's a, my guide is thumping me right now. He says, you were doing it again this morning, Rhonda. What the hell? Yep, we all do it. But you got to put more dirt in the hole than you take out. 
So go work on those things. You're totally worth it. Absolutely totally worth it. Breathe. I used to have a sticky note. I actually have a ring that says just breathe. I had a sticky note on my computer, but I don't anymore. You know, I don't know if you can read it. Ah, I'm thinking, I don't think I can get it at such an angle that you can read it. It says just breathe. Just breathe. Put some oxygen in your body. It really helps relax. Um, meditation type stuff. And I can't sit there and meditate. Can't, can't, can't. And now this is coming from me, not grandma. I can't sit still long enough, but uh, it it totally helped with my anxiety. The breathing. Okay, so go try those things. Let me know. Call on grandma. All the time, you're not bothering her. That's a part of their job. Much love to you, my dear Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator. Voice for your loved ones. Later.